Sam Rayburn Reservoir. The first stop in the 2024 season of the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Texas Team Trail presented by Progressive. And conditions are less than favorable. North winds ushered in a late February cold front. In 24 hours, a near 40 degree temperature swing will be a game changer. But it's the 20 mile per hour winds gusting to 30 that have everybody's attention. For safety concerns, the first stop is a trailering event, meaning teams can launch from the ramp of their choice. Lines in is 7 a.m. Out on the water, we'll kick off the 2024 season with Crowley, Texas's Colt Ferris and fishing partner Jeremy Martin. What are we doing? Well, we're out here battling Sam Rayburn, and we got some heavy winds, and uh, you know we caught all our fish deep yesterday, and you know we're just going for it. Make a great story if we come out here and smash and battle in this wind. Raving the winds and a near three-foot swell, they're out deep fishing structure. By 8 a.m., the north winds gusting past 30. Maintaining boat control and position is crucial to their bite. It's a bit of a hero or zero situation, and Colts is willing to gamble. As far as I'm concerned, I think the weather's gonna move the fish into where I'm fishing. This particular spot I fish tends to get better when the weather gets worse, so we'll see. Um, I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of running and gunning out here with that wind tomorrow, so it's gonna be hunker down and weather the storm. How does this spot set up? Well, what you got is a long point that runs out, and this is the very tip of it. You got um, oh, nothing but open water all around, and then this way is the flat, but this is the very tip of it right here. And uh, for, this is the first and last place these fish go before they drop off into the lake. So uh, there's, there's a lot of things going on here. There's a lot of different species down there. And uh, you know, there's, there's lay downs and all kinds of stuff, some house foundations. Um, it really doesn't get much better than this setup, honestly. We'll check back with Colt and Jeremy in a bit. Moving on, we'll head into protected waters and introduce you to Travis Lloyd and Brian Vaughn. Fishing their second season on the trail, Brian and Travis were the 2023 TXTT White River Marine Group points leaders and were rewarded with a spot in the Bassmaster Team Championship. So we're going to get to go to Florida, it sounds like, maybe in December and represent uh, TTT and that's exciting, you know, so uh, it was a good year. Our first year fishing Texas lakes like this and uh, we didn't hang our head. We gave them heck and uh, held our own. Hauling that nitro boat all the way down to Leesburg, Florida for the four day event, the duo competed against 247 other teams. Wrapping up the week, they secured a 31st place finish and a jack. Back on Rayburn, they're up shallow. And this is their first. It's like they're just in the past, last few days, they're, they're roaming. You can see them roaming. Well, this morning, they're just, I noticed they're just, they're not roaming, but maybe a foot or two, and they're just turning right back around. So I picked this little dead stick, little swim jig, or a, well, it's, it's just a little small, small jig with a little small little swim bait on it. And I'm able to drop down in there and keep it in their face. I ain't been doing this but about five minutes. I just caught one, so we'll see. You can see it falling down there in the grass. It's in conditions like these when gear matters. The Johnny Morris Bass Pro Guidewear Extreme Parka and Bibs are the pro's choice when you need to stay warm and dry. You can find them online, scan the QR code, or visit BassPro.com. Keep up with the latest from the trail on the Texas Team Trail Facebook and Instagram pages. For schedules and registration, look us up at texasteamtrail.com. The Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Texas Team Trail presented by Progressive is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Progressive Insurance. Bundle and save. Coming up, we'll get back to tournament coverage from Brooklyn, Texas and Sam Rayburn Reservoir. Be it rain, or gusting wind, or whatever Mother Nature throws you, when there's fish to be caught, nothing will stand in the way. Bass Pro Shops Guidewear features Gore-Tex technology with the protection you need from the elements, so you can stay on the water and catch the big ones. The all-weather, all-performance Bass Pro Shops guide wear. Because there are no rain checks out here. When there's miles of water in front of you, 
and hundreds of feet below. You need a boat with the chops to dominate, no matter the conditions. With the strength and technology to overcome the elements and the competition. Ranger Boats, still building legends, one at a time. Hey, all you boaters out there. Any way you float, float protected with Progressive. They insure over 1 million watercraft just like yours. Get a quote for your boat today. Insure your passion. Hey, RVers. Any way you explore, explore protected. With Progressive, a leader in RV insurance. They make it easy to quote and the process takes as little as four minutes. Get a quote now. Insure your passion. Any fish, any water. Welcome back to the Piney Woods of East Texas and Sam Rayburn Reservoir. Impounded on the Angelina River back in 1965, the lake is consistently ranked among the top five fisheries in the country. And this year, Rayburn started off on fire. It took 38 pounds last week to win an event, and then things changed. Anglers arrived yesterday to sunny skies and temps in the 70s before a strong norther blew in overnight. This morning, teams launched in 40 degree weather with north winds blowing 20. It's going to be rough. Uh, it's supposed to blow gusts up to like 25 uh, northeast, which is not good. They made it a trailer event, so pretty much better stay on the <laughs> northeast side. The other side is going to be a little western. Well, when that wind blows hard like that, you know, it, on this lake right here, especially when it's coming from the north like that, it's going to be way too rough to run across the main lake. So uh, wherever you make a decision of where you're going to fish at, you pretty much got to stay there. It's going to take the main lake out of play for every single person out on this water this weekend. So I think what's going to end up happening is we're going to have some 20 plus bags, but I don't think we're going to see the 30, 35 pound bags that Rayburn is famous for. I still think it's probably going to take upper 20s probably to win tomorrow. Um, if wind blows, a lot of guys aren't going to be able to get on their offshore stuff like normal. But it, the weight is still, it's Rayburn. Mid 20s, uh, you know, it'd probably be like a 28 pound sack or something like that. It'll probably take the top, top. I don't know if it'll bust a 30, but it's Sam Rayburn. Everything, anything is possible. I mean, it could be a, a close to 40 pound bag tomorrow. Who knows, right? It's Rayburn. It might take 50, you know? When he says 50 pounds, <laughs> he's not kidding. It was February of 2020 when Danny Isles and Brian Shook stepped to the scales with the largest five fish limit ever weighed on Rayburn. With a five bass limit that is going to crush the scales, 49-31. Boom, congratulations, guys. I really don't know how to describe it. It's going to take a while for this to sink in. I mean, we've had some very, very good days before in tournaments, but nothing even comes close to this. It'll, it'll take a long time to sink in what we just did. Sam Rayburn is well regarded as a big bass factory, consistently producing trophy fish over 10 pounds with largemouth in the six to eight pound class common. Tom Shilton is one of those Texas sticks that's been around the block a time or two. Fishing Rayburn since the late sixties. He's another one with his name in the record books. Yeah, this body of water's been good to me. I've had a few tens. Uh, 11 and then uh, I had a 1680 1997 lake record held since then. And I sure wish somebody would hurry up. <laughs> it seemed like it voodooed me ever since. The guy that started me fishing was a guy called Rick Clun and Randy Fikes. A lot of people don't know that they're brothers. And I live right next door to Randy Fike in uh, uh, Conroe, near, uh, well, Lake Conroe. And I fished with them for six months and didn't realize who they were. I was in the army back then, and one day I see them on the Bassmasters. Uh, my jaw dropped to the uh, floor, so ever since then I've been kind of hooked with fishing. 
Scroll through the tournament results of any TXTT event, and you'll find a laundry list of legendary Texas anglers, touring pros, and even a few Bassmaster Classic qualifiers. Oh, field stacked. I mean, you go to Arizona, and there's, you know, your typical 10 hammers, you know, that you got to compete against, and it's going to be one of those few, and every now and then a random person. Here, it's anybody's game. You got like 100 teams that are just absolute hammers, lots of experience, lots of pro experience. I mean, you're fishing against, you know, pros that show up here. Um, so it, it's really awesome. It's a great challenge for us. And I, I, I love doing it because if you do do well, you can say, hey, I beat those guys. It gives you some confidence. These guys are the baddest around. I mean, they really are. Time and time again, this field shows you how much better they are than every other tournament trail. So these guys can bring it. They're the best in Texas. There's no doubt about it. I, I like the people. I like the organization. And you can win a boat for 250. And I mean, it's, it's just all around fun. Great group of guys. Whole nine yards. Just competing against the, the best in Texas. Actually, all around. <laughs> what I like about the Texas team trail is, number one, it's Texas team trail. Johnny Morris, Bass Pro Shops, the team trail itself, the way it pays out, the angler incentives, the advantages, uh, it can't be beat for a team trail. And if you think you're a good fisherman and you want to fish with some of the best sticks in Texas, then the Texas team trail is the one that you want to fish. Here's a look at the 2024 schedule. Lake Fork and Richland Chambers are coming up. For information and registration, look us up at texasteamtrail.com. This portion of the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Texas Team Trail presented by Progressive is brought to you by Nitro Boats and the Nitro Rewards Program. Mercury Marine, go boldly. Garmin, the leader in sonar and navigation. And by Aftco, any fish, any water. Coming up, we'll resume tournament coverage on the first stop of the season, right here on the top rated bass fishing team trail in the nation. The Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Texas Team Trail presented by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com and get specialized boat insurance. Nitro, a rush of tournament adrenaline. Nitro, the choice of champions, where performance meets play. Nitro, a big water beast, a pure fishing machine. Nitro, release the champion within. She grew up fast. Will she remember these times? and continue the tradition. You better believe it. Tell a new fish story with Garmin. Born in Japan, using technology, innovation, and precision, Sunline produces the widest selection of fishing lines at the most technologically advanced line factory in the world. Manufactured at the strictest tolerances to produce victories at the highest levels of tournament yes, bass fishing. Sir. From household names like Christie, Swindle, and Cruz, to young guns like Cook, Logan, New, and Welcher, they all trust Sunline to take them to the top of the leaderboard. Choose the line that will give you the strength to guarantee your confidence. Sunline. Welcome back to the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Texas Team Trail presented by Progressive. We're nearing midday of the first stop of the 2024 season. Conditions? Well, <laughs> they kind of suck. After a week in the 70s and water temps in the low 60s, we'll see a high today maybe in the 50s with winds from the north northeast at 20 gusting to 30. Whatever you figured out in practice is probably gone. It's been tough for us all pretty much all day, which 
this uh, the wind got us pretty good this morning. We had to finally get out of it, but we finally started getting a few bites. Um, actually, probably around midday. We're just grinding out, dragging these drains, hoping for. We just got our fifth fish, so hoping to call out every one of them. Limits on a day like today will go a long way in the Progressive Team of the Year points race. At the end of the season, only the top 75 qualify to fish the two-day championship, where over $100,000 in cash and prizes will be awarded to the top finishers. Back on Colt Ferris and Jeremy Martin. After go. starting out the morning fishing structure on open water, they pulled the plug and headed shallow. Throwing red lipless rattling baits over grass is a classic springtime Rayburn pattern. Their move inshore looks like it's paying off. You just have to work with what you're given sometimes. If you're looking for gear, Bass Pro Shops offers a variety of rattling lures in the colors you need. Shop them online or scan the QR code for a direct link. This is Kalen Cameron and Jake Enderman fishing from their Nitro Z21, landing their third just as we pulled up. So it's been a tough one, especially with this weather. We've been around just a couple nearby creeks, Mid Lake. Um, targeting some of this cleaner, a little bit cleaner water, not as super clear as down south and not as dirty as up north, but um, in practice found lots of groups of fish, but you know, a lot of things fell through. We got three keepers right now, missed a couple opportunities, but uh, sometimes they just don't get it good. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just targeting some staging fish on some secondary points and points just near the main lake. Garmin is one of the premier sponsors of the TXTT, and for those teams fishing with qualified Garmin products, the highest placing team in every event gets paid with up to a $500 Garmin reward. Check Garmin.com for the details. Moving on to our final stop of the day, this is Tanner Spedden and Gunnar Williamson. It's been tough. Uh, kind of got a little slow start on the day, had a, some mishap, but we uh, caught two so far, two keepers. Uh, he caught one on a drop shot, or one on a Carolina rig, one on a jerk bait. And, yeah. Other than that, just kind of really don't have a pattern. So our shallow bite we were kind of banking on was uh, that was kind of our plan. We did pretty good yesterday, catching them all with what we wanted to, like chatter baits, swim jigs, stuff like that. But today with the cold front, it really, uh, it really kind of took away our shallow bite. Seems like at least. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's are the title sponsors of the Texas Team Trail presented by Progressive. Not only do they support the best in grassroots tournament fishing, but they also offer the very best in gear, tackle, and electronics. Visit BassPro or Cabela's.com for the very best in selection. This portion of the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Texas Team Trail presented by Progressive is brought to you by TH Marine, boating and marine accessories, Rapala, Welcome to Crush City. Power Pole, Total Boat Control. The Texas Team Trail is also proudly supported by all the fine companies and brands you see here. Coming up, we'll head to weigh in. Stay close. Gamakatsu, the innovation leader in fish hooks, is launching Nano Alpha technology in 2024. Nano Alpha is a new finish available on Gamakatsu's most popular hook styles. It delivers two times slicker performance, four times better corrosion resistance. Nano Alpha technology makes the world's greatest fish hooks even better in 2024 to help anglers catch more fish. Electronics and forward facing sonar have changed the fishing game. The graphs and transducers used for forward-facing sonar are a major investment that must be protected. Beatdown Outdoors builds graph mounts and sonar poles to make sure your investment is secure and always protected. Made in America from the highest quality materials, Beatdown Outdoors mounts and sonar poles are compatible with all major electronic brands, allowing you to customize and optimize all of your electronics. Can't beat a Beatdown.
On the Water competition is over for the first stop in the 2024 season of the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Texas Team Trail presented by Progressive. We've got over $100,000 in total purse up for grabs this week. The top spot will earn a Ranger Z518 powered by a 150 horsepower Mercury outboard motor worth better than $50,000. With regular payout reaching all the way down to 35th place, we've also got the angler advantage and contingency programs paying even deeper into the field for qualified teams. They're mean little fish. Man, it's kind of tough today, wind blowing 20 miles an hour. Uh, had a pretty good practice yesterday. Come today with a weather change, it's uh, they, no telling where they went to. They started off with a bang. Had a uh, couple of big fish in the boat, about a six and a seven, right off the bat. And then we had to get up and beat the bank a little bit for a limit on a chatterbait. The wind was just so bad today. Uh, I'm really appreciative that uh, they allowed us to trailer today. It was a smart, safe decision for the anglers. TTT has always done such a great job at keeping the anglers, you know, in the perspective of uh, being safe and, you know, putting on a really great show, and I do appreciate them for that, so. We had a pretty slow morning till about the last three hours of the day, we Picked really up started girl. catching some decent ones. With the Power Pole Big Bass Award paying out $1,100, Despite the conditions, Sam Rayburn still managed to show out with quality fish. Casey Burley and Josh Rogers finished second here back in 2020. One of the first to the scales, they got five, and Mike Hastings has the call. Twenty-nine, fourteen, new tournament leaders, do you have a big bass? Total weight on big bass, eight, eleven, uh, today was a good day. We had 29 pounds. Can't complain about it. It was a heck of a day on the water. But it's Sam Rayburn. Uh, Marshall Hughes caught 38 pounds last weekend. We've lost. We got second place in the tournament in history pass to a 50 pound stringer. So never feel too comfortable with any weight on this uh, lake. Russell Cecil and Todd Castledine are your three time TXTT Progressive Team of the Year. Struggling under the conditions today, finishing outside the money in 84th place. We're looking for 29.15. Yeah, we're not holding up much on that uh, introduction there. Okay, well that's all right. A total weight today is gonna be 11 pounds, 10 ounces. It's the first tournament. We know you're gonna whack them next month. Well, I'm surprised they weighed 11 pounds, to be honest with you. Uh, we had struggled to death out there today, so I don't know, I guess we were saving them for something. The Progressive Team of the Year is back and even bigger in 2024. At the end of the season, we'll see payouts 25 places deep in a Mercury-powered Ranger Z518 for the points leaders. For all the details, check out TexasTeamTrail.com. Heading to the scales, Charles Whited and Mike Power round out your Bass Pro Top 5. Weighing 2306, they'll cash out 3,365 bucks. It moves you into fifth place, don't go anywhere. Clay Phillips and David Shaw dropped a limit weighing 2312. They'll pick up $250 in Nitro rewards for a total payout of 4585. 23 pounds, 12 ounces. That's going to move you into fourth place. Brian Lohr and John Simon sacked up five for 2505, locking up third and earning $5,415. New big bass leader, nine pounds, 10 ounces. Congratulations. We're looking for 29.15. Bubba Frazier and Tommy Hill are one of those East Texas teams consistently at the top. Nice Sacking up 26.01 this week. They'll finish second, earning $7,426. How you feeling? Right now I'm kind of cold, ready to get home. It's, uh, we had a great day. It was windy, rough, caught a few fish. I think we caught about 30, but caught the right ones. Well, there you go. Burley and Rogers get the first win of the season. For their efforts, they'll take home a $54,904 total prize package, including a Mercury-powered Ranger Z518 and nearly two grand in angler advantage money. How are you guys feeling? Uh, feels good to finally get a win in the Texas Team Trail. We have two second place finisher, finishes here in the last three years, so finally to pull a win off, feels great. Tell me about the day. Uh, windy. Windy. <laughs> uh, that's uh, the, probably the worst conditions I've ever fished in on the main lake. Uh, taking over four footers over the uh, bow the entire time. We got five bites all day. 
We had troll motor, troll motor issues around nine o'clock, and we had five bites by then. Put it on the trailer. Couldn't find a boat. Couldn't find a boat to fish out of, so we said, hey, look, it's a good day. Came in. Here's a look at the rest of the top 10 on the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's leaderboard. In addition to their regular payout, the third place team of Brian Lohr and John Simon also picked up $300 in Garmin tournament rewards, along with the Power Pole Big Bass Award. So we, we started out just cranking river ledges. Um, so we had a six inch 300. Uh, is it blue truce? What is the color of the shark? That's pro blue. The pro blue. Pro so blue. just cranking river ledges, uh, made little tight point turns. And just, I mean, we caught keepers all day and just looked out and caught one pretty decent one on each spot. Um, I think we had big bass at the tournament with a 9-10. Uh -huh. But it really wasn't just big schools. They were just kind of, you know, two or three fish, you know, here and there. So we just kind of jumped around all day, fought the wind. So. Join us next time when the TXTT returns to Sam Rayburn for stop number two. Man, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, the lake up, hopefully it stays up and they don't drain it down because the bed fishing should be amazing. If they keep getting rain down here, it'll flood some more than bushes and you can push them even shallower. So, I think the tournament here is March 23rd for Team Trail. That's going to be a shallow water event in my opinion. I think they're going to push up. We saw some fish going shallow today, but they weren't quite on the bank, but they will be in a month. So that's I'm really looking forward to that one. Here's another look at the remaining schedule for the 2024 season of the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Texas Team Trail presented by Progressive. For schedules and registration, look us up at texasteamtrail.com. And for the best selection of gear, tackle, and electronics, visit BassPro or Cabela's.com.